What's up nerds, I'm the Renegade Collectors, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to another Pokemon TCG O... No, it's not TCG O opening. Another TCG opening. TCG box opening, whatever. And you're getting glared at by Snorlax GX. Because that is a Snorlax GX box, which, as we see already, has the great benefit of giving us not only the Snorlax GX, but also the old school Generation 1 Snorlax in holographic, just from the evolution... Uh, booster pack, I'm guessing, because if that was the original from Generation 1, that would be very interesting. As always, I already opened it here, because this one, let me tell you, this one gave me a lot of work. This one gave me a lot of trouble. It better be worth it. Like, it better be worth it. <laughs> this one goes up on the last Friday of March. Monster March, March of Monsters. I really need to stick to my name, <laughs> to the name better. Okay, we got Snorlax, which we'll take a look at now, and we got Snorlax, which we'll take a look at now. So, I hope there is something interesting in there. First and foremost, let's get everything out. Okay, here is the code card that you did not see, hopefully. I mean, I will check the video, but there is a code card for the box. As always, I will give away some of the codes, because that's what I like to do. I might take a few for myself because I do have an account and I like to do openings every now and then but I like giving them away way more. Oh wait, before we put it in there, let's just check the Snorlax GX out. Freaking love the box art, uh, the box art, <laughs> my goodness, my brain is mush. Freaking love the artwork, it just, Snorlax in general is such a great Pokemon because most of the time it just sleeps but if it attacks, it freaking attacks. Snorlax GX 190 HP has Collapse. This Pokemon is now asleep, but these 80 damage, nice. Thunderous Snore. This attack can be used if this Pokemon is asleep. If it's not asleep, this attack does nothing. Does 180. And Pulverizing Pancake GX. It's Z-Move, actually. This Pokemon is now asleep, and it does 210 damage. That is a freaking lot. By the way, because someone asked me, I don't know if it was in the comments, I can't remember, it was quite a while ago. These, um, these, these, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, this, the plastic. The, the, there is a word for that. I can't, like, sleeves. This, these sleeves are just regular, what is it called? A5. Like, I, I don't know if that's the international way to say it, but A4 is a regular sheet of paper, A5 is half its size, these are just regular A5 uh, sleeves that you can get in any uh, any shop that sells you anything. The words are escaping me. <laughs> My goodness, office related, office related, in any, any office shop you can get those. So this is the same as the big one, so we're gonna put that in a sleeve, because that's what it's called, it's a sleeve. And those are, of course, normal trading card game sleeves, because these are the norm for, I think, Magic and Pokemon and many others. I'm not quite sure, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! were slightly smaller and have some special ones, but I think you can put them in these as well. If you played any kinds of TCG, you know them, you love them. We have the old one, Snorlax, it's a promo, which is great. Immunity, this Pokemon can't be affected by any special conditions, not even sleep, that's interesting. And Body Slam, Flink Coin, if that's your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. But why would you play such a card if there are EX, GX and other things? Like, that's one thing that I don't really... Like, it's not that I don't like it, but it's just, in most cases, yes, it's high... High risk, high reward, as in... If the opponent knocks out a EX or GX card, they get two prizes, but other than that, there's no really any risk involved. Okay, we got two evolutions, and we got one Fates Collide and one Breakthrough. I will start with one evolutions, go to Fates, but no, I'll keep it like that, I think. Unless I feel something, you know that when I got the, when I got the cards... In my hands, like a uh, the thing is full art cards. By the way, here's the code card. Full art cards are rippled. Like you feel that it is a full art card. There is no mistaking it. 
But EX cards, not always. Sometimes they just feel like regular... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Foiled. Foiled cards. One, two, three, one, two. And just as I said about feeling something, I'm gonna let them right there. I'm not quite sure. This could just be a foiled card. But it felt like there was something. So, already showing more promise than the last video. Uh, I don't want to hark on the last video too much. But if you watched it, you know what I mean. And if you didn't watch it, Go watch it! Again, a code card. By the way, if you want to win in today's video, wait, one, two, three, one, two. I'm not sure, not sure. That feels strange, but not like it would be. Yeah. Um, two days. Question to win some codes. Let me think. I should prepare them before I do these videos. But no. No. <laughs> what is your favorite Pokemon game? And I'm not only talking about your favorite uh, Pokemon edition. I'm actually talking any game that has anything to do with Pokemon. Hell, if you want, say Super Smash Bros. because there are Pokemon in them. No, don't say Super Smash Bros. Anything that starts with Pokemon. Be it Pokemon Go, Pokemon Trozai, Pokemon Link, Pokemon... I think Pokemon Trozai and Link are the same. I don't know. Pokemon Dash, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue. Just name your favorite Pokemon game. Overall, I really couldn't tell you which my which my favorite is. Conquest is way high up, but I think it's like Pokemon Black or White. They are just so amazing. I don't know. I really couldn't tell you. <laughs> I should have thought about that beforehand. Let's just say Pokemon Black and White. Because Black and White 2, I never actually finished. So I, they are probably better than Black and White. But for now, I can't say. Muy bad. And like I said... Answer that in the comments, your favorite Pokemon game out of all the Pokemon games. And then I will choose a few winners a few days from now, from uploading this. Answer to your comment. I will answer to your comment. You will get a notification. Hey, someone answered to your comment. And if you get in touch with me through that, great. You can win some codes for Pokemon TCG. Oh, anyway, swine up. Love that Pokemon. Ralts, great Pokemon. Pensier, don't like that Pokemon. <laughs> Worst thing to come out of. The fifth generation, in my opinion, the elemental monkeys are just bad. Meowth, Professor's Letter, Quilladin, freaking love it, absolutely do. Sandslash, Ruas Horror Graphics, Jaspin, my one of my favorite starters of all time. And our rare card is a Simiseer, a elemental monkey, one of the worst things to come out of uh, generation 5. Damn! I mean, yeah, that was pretty much karma. I'm, I don't believe in karma. But that was it. If there was karma, that was it. Talking bad about elemental monkeys and getting one as a not even holographic, just a regular rare. That's pretty much my luck in these cases. Anyway, let's go to another X and Y Evolutus booster. We got a Starmie right in front. We got a code card, of course. That felt strange. One, two, three, one, two. That feels like regular I don't know we'll see star you do duo I don't want to feel every card but in some cases I just feel something Ponyta Tangela Weedle Super Potion Charizard Spirit Link Charmeleon <gasps> Snap! it's a nine tails break card I totally like I totally forgot that there are break cards in this I said it in the last video, I know that I said it, and I think I called them turbo cards because for some reason in German they are called turbo. Well, turbo as you would pronounce it in German. We got a 90s break cards, I freaking love break cards. I don't necessarily like the idea of them, but their artwork, their designs just... Ah, oh, they are so, just so good! Explosive fireball, discard all fire energy attached to this Pokemon. This deck does 60 more damage for each energy card discarded this way. 10 plus. I mean, you have to do it. There is no, you can, there is, you have to do it. And our rare is a Starmie, which is completely okay. Basically, I, if I remember correctly from the time that I actively watched pack openings and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure you cannot have a turbo, uh, sorry, a break card and an EX card in the same booster. 
correct me if I'm wrong, like I could be wrong, but I think it is not possible. But yes, that is amazing. It is a break card and it's a beauty. Ninetales is a beautiful Pokemon. Like, I don't think anyone would argue with that. I mean, like the idea of it or not, but Ninetales is a beautifully designed Pokemon. We're gonna go to Fates Collide, which also has the... Um, the, 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 the chance card, of having a break card. One, two, three, one, two. Pretty sure it won't have any, but it, there could be one. Got Bronzor, Mincino, Snubble, Deerling, Ryolu, De Evolution Spray, Duosion, Whimsicott, one of my favorite fairy types. Just period. I I don't know what it is about this thing, but it is so terribly cute. Rust holographic, random receiver, and our rare is a Delphox. It is holographic, and Delphox card art is really cool. Delphox as a Pokemon, eh, but its card art here is just really, really cool. And I said it, I said it multiple times. I don't mind getting regular rares when they are holographic. The problem that I have is when they are not. Like when they are just regular rares and nothing else. That kind of takes out a bit of me. It take, takes out a bit of me? I, I don't know what I wanted to say with that. That takes me out of it a bit. I think that's what I wanted to say. I'm just checking what time... Okay, this is just in basic uncommon. Nothing out of the ordinary, basically. Because sometimes your... Reverse holographics can be better than your rares because your reverse holographics can be rares as well. Okay, let's go to the last evolutions booster that we already had prepared because I'm pretty sure there is something great at the end. If it isn't, very sorry, but we'll see. Yeah, the Diglett, Red Tata, Charmander, Psychic Energy, Fat Pikachu, Charizard Spirit Link, Super Potion. Charmeleon, Reverse Holographic Diglett, and... Mm. Yes! 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 I pulled this one, I think, three times already in, like, in general, in all my time of opening packs. Three times, maybe four times even, I think. And at least seven other Charizards, because there are so many. But still, it's a Charizard EX from the Evolutions, which has the beautiful... Like, it is ugly, but it's... In a beautiful way, that doesn't make sense, but it has the, the, the what, what's it called, the border, the yellow border, but uh, foil, so basically, or holographic, so basically it's a golden border, which doesn't really look that great, but it's so great that it has them, because it's just, the evolutions booster are just mm, beautifully crafted. And the Star Side X, we got Wing Attack, we got Combustion Blast, this Pokemon can't use Combustion Blast during the next turn. So, kind of a Hyper Beam, kind of. This one goes over here. And the Reverse Holographic Diglett gets a sleeve as well. By the way, since some people every now and then ask me, also in real life, not just in the comments, uh, what, I, what I'm doing with all these cards that I pull, I'm not really playing the game anymore. <laughs> like, I had cards ever since, like, uh, first edition. Like, when it came out, I started collecting. I played quite a lot with friends, but there were only a handful of friends who actually knew how the game worked. I mean, everyone who plays Pokemon, I think, has the same um, experience that people around them like to collect them, but didn't know how to play them, which was the stupidest thing ever. But... Um, I keep quite a lot of them, the ones that I really like, and the big cards, I always keep them. But like these, just regular rares, and some of the EX cards and all, I just sell. Because this is not a hobby that sustains itself. Like I cannot uh, guarantee that I get the money back with selling these cards that these boxes cost. But if I can get like half of a box cost, maybe from selling a few cards, that's great. And some, like I said, I keep no questions asked. 
We got Reversal Graphic Diglett, Random Receiver and Chespin. We got Starmie and Simiseer as regular rares. We got Delphox as holographic rare and a promo holographic rare Snorlax. This one I'll probably keep either way because it's a promo and I love promo cards. We got the Break Ninetales, which is a beauty. We got a Charizard EX and of course the Snorlax GX. And that, I would say, is a fitting end for Pokemon TCG openings for now. I don't have any more boxes lying around, but I'm not saying that I will stop doing them, because I freaking love them, I love the card art, I love the game itself, I like playing the game, I just don't have anyone to play with me, and Pokemon TCG gets boring after a while when everyone uses pretty much the same deck. But anyway, if you want to win some code cards, just tell me your favorite Pokemon game out of all the Pokemon games, doesn't have to be main series, can be every single sequel, and if you say Pokemon Rumble, that's alright as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I, gotta run. Bye bye!